perhaps 70 grand. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Car Intent. I'm your host with the most is Paul Patrick. Follow me right here on the Instagram if you dare. So the RS is gone. As much as it pains me to say it, it's it's out of here. It has been replaced by something quite special in my world. More horsepower than a DB9. More horsepower than a BMW M4 and lighter a perfect old school driver's car setup which is what was lacking in the rs just not a big straight line guy i'm not a big all-wheel drive guy can you guess what it is well let's have a look enough waiting here is my new car Mustang GT stripper performance pack. This is a very odd choice for me because there's millions of Mustangs. I mean, I've never been a huge Mustang guy, but what the focus was lacking, this has in buckets. Rear wheel drive, old school manual, V8 up front, FR layout. This is so much car for the money. Let's take a look at it. Guys, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the bells for notification, and let's get into it. It's not about talking. This car is about driving. Mustang. So just in case you're from Mars, this is a 2020 Mustang GT. It is a stripper GT with a performance pack, which means nicer wheels, better tires, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, a better diff, uh, two nostrils at the front, track apps, and uh, it does have the performance exhaust on it, which is a $900 option, but it sounds boss. Listen to this. liter coyote v8 uh, comment below if you are a coyote fan or not i'm wondering if if this is as big of a engine to other gearheads as it is to me i mean bringing that 5.0 badge back is just yes yes good job ford uh yeah i'd rather have the 5.2 flat plane crank from the gt350 me too but i don't have 70 grand it 
does have some toys. The track apps are really cool. Uh, you've got your drive modes, which are on the best thing inside a car ever. And if you don't agree, you're dead inside. Toggle switches. Who doesn't love toggle switches? If you are a dude or even a gearhead it, I love you ladies. If you are a gearhead and you don't like toggle switches in your car, then what is wrong? Tell me what's wrong. You can tell me. I'm your gearhead, gearhead pal, Paul Patrick. Yeah, toggle switches. <sighs> Love toggle switches. So you flip some toggle switches, you go through your modes, you've got uh, normal, you've got sport plus, track, drag strip, snow wet, and back to normal. So you've got some toys, you've got your track apps, you've got uh, a lot of inf information that's being displayed up here on this little screen. You've got a, the Sync 3 system, which is great. So, yeah, I mean, but the materials. You hear that? That is not quality. The Focus definitely had a lot better interior. The seats are just, you know, cloth seats, nothing special, no Recaros, but that's the best thing about a Mustang is that you can change them and mod them to suit your need. I already have a mod sitting in the back, which will be the next video, but yeah. So you get in, you, you wrap it around you, but you hit the little start button that lights up green when you're pressing the clutch. You're like, oh, oh. And then you press it and it rumbles and then you, you see the cow just just sit to the side a little bit when that 5.0 starts up. It is so provoking. Now, getting on the move with it, uh, like I said, steering is great. Uh, it has, it, if you let off the clutch, you don't touch the gas, it does it all for you. Um, which I'm kind of getting used to with the Fords now. It's actually a pretty good system. I'm not big on driver assist, but just going down the road, man, the ride from these Magna Ride dampers is harsher, but in a sporty way. So it's acceptable because you can tell that this is a decently heavy car, um, like 3,600 pounds. No, maybe 3,400 pounds. So, I mean, it's a decently heavy, let's face it, two-seater. I mean, those back seats are pitiful. I guess you could call it a two plus two if you want to be very European about it. But it is a torquey little, mm -hmm. I mean, you have pull. You have so much pull just from 1,500 RPM and then you start building up RPM, it's still in break-in period. I've only got 570 miles on it. Uh, so I can't really do a, we're not gonna do a big driving thing right now because I can't really explore it. But from what I have been able to do, like quarter throttle up to like 3,500 RPM so far, um, this engine is such a honey. I mean, it is, it's smooth, but it still has that, muscle car that rumble that bloop, 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 bloop. so yeah i'm really enjoying this car stay tuned because there will be plenty plenty more with this car the mods taking it on a track day hopefully if this can corona crap will go away um you know i hope everybody's being safe and i you know praying for y'all so yeah it is killer and the power's great. The shifter feels kindly notchy, and I mean, it, it's direct, but it, it feels very agricultural. So I might change that pretty quick, but just a quick introduction to the 5.0. I hope you guys like it. Tell me what you think. Should I have traded the RS? I mean, for something that you'll see 50 of every day, that's not really like me, but it, suits me better because I like a car that is driver focused. The RS was just too sanitized, all wheel drive and all that. This will move around, this challenges you. 
even in everyday driving. So, hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Bling! And I will see you guys later. Digital fist bump. Six feet! Six feet!